good morning. Today is a nice, cool day, surprisingly, which is awesome because today we are doing a garden update. I know the tomato plants need to be clipped up some more. Um, some of the strings have come loose from the clips. We also have a few of them that are a little yellowish. We think maybe a little nitrogen deficiency. Yeah. So we're going to take some rabbit poop and <laughs> sprinkle some it nitrogen around. <laughs> and sprinkle it around those uh, particular plants and yeah. then see if they, uh, you know, fixes those or, yeah. or if they're just on the course of death, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's why you grow 50, because, <laughs> you know, five, 10 might just die. Might, yeah, yeah, it <laughs> Gopher, happens. you know, you just don't know. Yeah, you know, so. we've never dealt with this with our tomatoes before. Um, we've had spider mites in the past, um, but this, this is something a little different. We're in new territory too, though. Yes. We've always grown up front and the dirt's really good there. This is our first year of uh, growing on that particular side. Yes. So, um, might have to just build that soil. Yeah. Take a little time. Yeah. Well, we'll show you guys exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. See, and it's just one of those little. Yeah. It's yep. the smallest thing. Hold them up. Here if the loofah is growing and it catches on something, it'll end up being curly cued rather than straight like the one over there. You have to train your loofahs and you also have to make sure they're not like smothering each other or wrapping around or caught on a fence because then then you're with like a mm, loofah another thing is we got these all trimmed these yes. rows yep See, that one's nice. we've been going through and trimming them keeping them off the ground we stopped see our shovels we stopped here last night so we'll come through and start trimming this up See in the water maybe we'll set that to the side. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's not rocket science. This loofah is killing itself. The vine is tight on itself. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get that one out. I think that one's just going to have to to stay like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's already <laughs> that's that's already stuck. Poor yeah. thing. Yeah. So that that will be an interesting looking loofah, but Ooh. you know it'll still go. Man, look at that. Yeah. It's pretty early in the year to it have is. loofahs that big. Yeah, right? most of them are, you know, about that size. But we got some monsters. See, like this one was already starting yeah. to do the same thing. Yeah. So let it break it free here. It's crazy because that little thing will will make a big old ring around yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't think it, you think it would pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that one too. I like when they're like that. Yeah. When they got the dark stripes. Yep, yep. So, update on the loofahs. They are growing. They are getting huge. Tons of new ones. Yeah. Tons loofa, of loofa, ones loofa. almost ready. They are doing amazing. So good. All three rows. So, when we planted the loofahs, we did three different things. We did a no-till, a till, and a deep till. They're all growing the same. Yeah, it's all about the same, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The weeds is the, is the thing. Yeah, which know. we had to come through with our hula hose and hula ho the weeds on all three rows. Yeah. So, and also when we're going through, we're picking weeds too. Uh, during the winter, we're gonna do the bark thing yes. though. And yep. then that'll rejuvenate the beds, yes. you know. There'll be some type of amendment being added at all the time. Yep, you yep. Know? We, uh, we haven't gotten our mulch delivery yet um, from the tree service but that's perfectly fine because we've actually decided to wait on mulching the lanes until this year's harvest is over yeah. just in case it ends up removing too much nitrogen or adding too much nitrogen the loofahs are happy right now. yeah yeah we don't want to disturb yeah. plus how are you going to get bark up on yeah the, the it's bed, you know what it's I mean? yeah it would be yeah. really hard you be like grabbing and tuck it at, we'll just wait for them to be gone. And then we'll be able to do like a heavy mulch in the fall when the vines die. We'll put mulch up. Look at that. I just 
a my, stick. He grabbed a stick when it was small and, <laughs> and carried it's it It's taking it with it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. And look at this loop. I'm like, buddy, you're in the wrong... Get, yeah. There we go. This, go in the right it, direction. That one would have been just like this. Oh, yeah. 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 Like, you think gravity... The, the gra we're losing gravity around here. Right? It's they not, don't... doesn't have the pool that it used to. <laughs> The Lufas really do like this lady. <laughs> they've always been so good here. Yeah, well, it's not just me. It's a family effort. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, I guess, the face of it. I go to the markets. I try to sell everything. I'm the person that's on Instagram. But most of the work is done by this guy right here. <laughs> He's the behind-the-scenes guy. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one that's out here every single day you and trimming. That guy, you yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah, when you're using a loofah, think him. <laughs> so this is what we're dealing with here. See, we got like uh, this end one, look, all, all frail looking. But then you got one good one, another frail one. And you got a couple, you know, two, three good ones, and then look at this one. We have no idea really what is causing you this. Got, you got this one doing good, got a bunch of tomatoes, and then you got this one, and then boom, right back to doing good. Yeah. So we looked up, and, and supposedly you can tell by way, the way the leaves are, if the leaves on the bottom are yellowing, or if they're starting to get like this yellow color, but you can see the green lines in it. It could be a magnesium deficiency. It could be yeah, a nitrogen. All this crazy stuff, yeah. And we really have no idea because the ones, some are doing great, some not so much. So rabbit poop has a lot of nitrogen in it. Yeah. And it does not need a compost. You can put it directly on the plant and it won't be too hot it won't be too much for it like chicken manure won't burn it up yeah, yeah. so we are going to attempt and see what happens see if, if they it... start looking better yeah then we'll we'll do them all yeah, yeah yeah exactly the other thing is it's been over 100 for like the last couple weeks yes and uh out here it is full full sun so we don't know if our other spot was a little more shade at certain times of the day. Mm -hmm. Gave them a little bit of time to recover. Yep. Out here, it's just been long, that's, hot days. That's the other thing that we read is a lot of sun. Very hot. Leaf curl, yeah, yep. from heat. And then uh, we picked up the water a little. We're, so we're, we're working with things. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. We're going to try to do some rabbit manure and see if that will fix the issue. Yeah. But some of these plants are doing so good. Yeah. And we have tomatoes growing, which is awesome. Some clips that are coming loose. Yes. And falling off. But a lot of the problem is we've noticed that... Uh, the stalk. Look at that. Like it's just, you know, buckle in that clip. I thought for sure there was plenty of room for that thing to grow. Look yeah. at this one too. I mean, it's about ready to pop. The clips are too small for the stalk of the tomatoes. Yeah. If you go over there and look at grandma's cage, I don't know, it seems to be doing okay. Yeah. And I haven't had to do anything. No <laughs> clips, nothing, they're just, they're fine. These are our two grandma cages, I <laughs> yeah. guess. Yeah. That's what we're gonna call yeah. them, grandma cages. <laughs> what's a, it's what's been going. And I mean, they're they doing have, great. Like, growth. They've been, I feel like they've had that support like all the way through. Yeah. So they've been able to just like a child. Be yeah. Taking care of it. Yeah. Those are kind of like a little neglected, yeah. blowing over. Maybe they're like struggling to like hold themselves up or, or putting energy in that. You see the stock on that one. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I did think, well, maybe the clips are like suffocating the plant. Like, yeah. Like too but tight, not really on, but they're not. It's more on the the super healthy ones yeah. rather than uh, yeah. You know this, these ones. This one, yeah. They're not getting choked out. Yeah, look at that clip. It's got plenty of room. Plenty, plenty of room. Plenty of room. This one too. Just swallowing it. Yeah. It, it makes the clip look big. Exactly. But then you look at this one that's doing good, and that <laughs> that clip that's is about tight. It's about ready to pop. Up, yeah, it looks good. 
I mean, the twine's working. I just think maybe the diameter of it for the clips yeah. is a little bit on the smaller side. I, I can concur with that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go through and we are going to clip up all of these tomatoes. And then we're also going to clip off all of the leaves that are touching the ground and get her done. <laughs> to say that doing the tomato plants this way so far has been more work normally you put the cage around the tomato plant and I mean you trim off the lower limbs and branches and if you want to trim off the suckers depending on what type of tomatoes you're growing um, it's not too bad but this this is a lot of maintenance so <laughs> I think it might be like over engineering, you know. There's right? Just too many clip points. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. Maybe it's we like just it, need a I bunch like, of cages. I, yeah, I like simplicity. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We're still this is the method we're doing this year, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> one of the foothills. I'm sure all this overcast probably created some lightning in the foothills and there's probably a fire up there. Yeah. Hopefully not yet because so far the air hasn't been too bad but we always get a lot of smoke from forest fires so hopefully it's nothing too bad. amazing how dirty your hands get from touching tomatoes. <laughs> Would you like to rinse? Yeah. It's as good as they're gonna get without soap. We finished up trimming all of these tomatoes and man there's a lot more tomatoes on there than what you could see when it was all bushy. We're gonna let these ones go other than trimming up on the bottom and just see if these two produce a little bit better than the ones with the twine. We ended up dropping a bunch more strings and putting on a lot more clips because the plants were kind of leaning. It's a lot of work. It is. I'm kind of looking for simplicity. That's yes. why I like the grandma cage, you know, and they look even more greener. The two grandma cages are doing pretty darn good compared to some of these that are looking a little bit more hurt. But then you have this beautiful one, but it's got a little curl too. I say this whole row, we uh, manure. Okay. And then we kind of hang out on that one. Okay. But that one, we can pick those few plants. And then this whole row. Okay. And then we'll just kind of... See what happens. If this row starts getting crazy, then we just right away, you know. All right. Just in case it all dies, then we're like, we're still okay. <laughs> we're not that good a shape, but we'd be, we would survive. Yeah. Okay. So we got our nitrogen. Now we'll just add it. Okay. And then we're on to something. This one needs a little extra. I mean, you should see results, you know, what? A couple days. A couple days. I mean, it's going to be hitting the roots tonight. I 
just ground my wood for a little little nitrogen on there. Why not? <laughs> Definitely need some nitrogen. <laughs> <laughs> this is... Come on, little buddy, you can come through. This one. Alright. Oh. I mean, we'll see. That was pretty simple. Yeah. I mean, if that's the answer to our problem, I mean... That's not too bad. That's not a bad deal. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we'll check back in in a couple days and see how the tomatoes are doing. We manured this whole row and just the ones that were hurt over on this side. Yeah, should be good. Yeah. I mean, it's just interesting to see. I mean, if they straighten right up and it was just a little deficiency... That's not too bad. That's not bad, yeah. Yeah, yeah we could deal with that. That's yeah. okay. I like when we uh, have the inputs right here, you know. You don't have to go buy nitrogen or anything like that. It's like homesteading, I feel like, is like trying to solve your problems at the homestead, you know. You gotta, you need nitrogen or something, you need to go think like, where can I get it around here? And then that's what we did, looked up, yep. you know, sheep poop, rabbit poop. I guess rabbit poop's the one. Yep, has a lot of nitrogen in it. Yeah, and then now we're going to go trim all these and uh, we'll feed it to the sheep. Yep. So it's like the little, little cycle going on. Yep, you know? yeah. You can look around your property and find solutions to your problems right there. Then that's the best way to go. into the yeah. loofahs that they have on them. Yeah, that, they're so heavy too that they don't need to be pushing <laughs> out. Last year we let a few rows go all the way out and man, it was crazy. You couldn't even get in or, or to pick or anything. No, so it was horrible. That was a bad idea. Yeah. So this year we're keeping it keeping it back where you can just walk through tractor, golf cart, whatever. <laughs> be to walk you guys around the rest of the garden and show everything else we got growing. Can you feel anything? No, I don't feel nothing. Oh. <laughs> I just wonder if you could reach in and, and feel a tape. Yeah, so our potatoes are doing so well. We even have some flowers, which I don't think we've ever had potato flowers no, before. We've, we've done pretty good on the potatoes and we've never had them flower like that. No. So I, Maybe this hybrid method is, is the way to go. Yeah. And they've done way better in the heat. With the heat and building dirt up, they just yellow. Yeah. So, I mean, they seem to be fair in the heat. And, yeah. And uh, we're past the buildup. So yeah. I think this year we might get some good size. Yep, up. yep. So as soon as the potato plants start to kind of die off and turn yellow, we'll come through and we'll pick potatoes and see how many we actually end up with this year which will be 
super exciting because this was a whole new method that we we're doing a lot of new stuff this year which is exciting but also kind of like are we gonna get anything One over there too. yeah there's a few little watermelons growing this is like a different variety the ones we grew last year were kind of round uh-huh these are gonna be like the true I think these ones have seeds. So usually like the seedless are like the round ones and then oh. with seeds are the more like oblong ones. Yeah. You got this little tiny oh. one there. This one here. It's a little baby watermelon. And then there's a lot of flowers, you know. There so is. I, there's even another little one right there. Oh yeah. We're gonna have some melons, you know. Heck yeah. That's pretty good. We have our pumpkins, which we already have a pumpkin turning orange these are going to be awesome so whenever these ones are done we will throw them in the oven and puree down the pumpkin and then just freeze it for cookies and pies and other yummy stuff like that i almost think we should pick all those these are our super snappy peas hey that's something right? yeah I mean, really, we didn't plant that many. No, we didn't. If you planted a lot, man, you'd have quite the crop. These are tiny little plants, too. They are. These, I believe, are more of a fall crop, which is why they don't look super duper happy. I'm surprised we're getting as much as we are. It's just pure healthiness. Uh-huh. Artichokes looking good. These are Ronnie's artichoke. He is super excited Pretty about proud these. Of those, yeah. Nothing's going on just yet. Don't know exactly what we're supposed to look for. First time growing them, but hey, we have four super he healthy plants. These are those like uh, what barbecue like a uh, poblano. Yeah, like a uh, char them. Yeah, you can char them and then stuff them with cheese, um, chili relleno. So uh, we've had a few at a restaurant, but I think I could probably nail down a pretty good one. Um, so we are growing these this year. I'm super excited about. They seem to be doing pretty well. We have some flowers that will be flowering soon, but they're looking healthy. Tomatoes are looking, looking good. Plenty of nitrogen on those. <laughs> you can see it all over the bottom. Yep. Nitrogen has been added. We'll <laughs> see how those... Nitrogen enriched. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a little row of onions. They're doing pretty good. Bulbs are pretty small. But onions around here usually grow a little better in the fall. Plant them in the fall. Pick them in the spring. So these ones are kind of like an experiment. Still barbecue them and then, uh, you know, cut them up for a salad, something like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, they're just not going to be huge. Get some meat or, you know, mm -hmm. something. Cut up the greens on some taters. Yeah, so there's still things to do with them. Then these are garlic, which the garlic is still, it's like a winter still pretty girl. small, but same yeah. thing with these. That's going to be our winter crop. Yeah. You know, garlic yep. and onions. Yep. And lettuce. These are, are our bell peppers. Bell peppers, yeah. Which they are starting to yeah. flower. So that's going to be awesome because we like bell peppers. So these are our jalapenos and they are starting to flower as well. This one actually has little flowers. Looking good. <laughs> Yeah, it's like purple stem. Yeah. Know? Yeah. What's crazy is everything else out here in the garden is doing better on this land than it did in our garden when we had it up front, except for the tomatoes. Yeah. Which, they're yeah. still doing good. Yeah, they are. So. We're just getting the dirt, you know, adjusted, I guess, for growing, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's not by the toxic road, so it yeah. probably helps it a little more as well. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, so it has been a few days since we trimmed up the tomato plants and we sprinkled our nitrogen. 
Yeah, yeah, our nitrogen. <laughs> our nitrogen yeah. around the ones that were kind of hurt. They seemed like they had some leaf curl. Mm -hmm. um, we were thinking possibly a nitrogen deficiency. Fast forward to now. Things aren't looking better. <laughs> so now we're taking it to the next step. We're at stage two now <laughs> of trying to save the tomatoes. Yes, oh my gosh. So nitrogen, or I mean, it was kind of like pruning, nitrogen, water, now we're here to the blight. Yeah, yeah. We did have like high heat too. It's been up in the hundreds. It's been super hot. We, and we thought maybe this is a new area. It's getting a lot more sunlight. Mm -hmm. So we thought maybe... That would cause a leaf curl. Just too much sun, but... What ended up happening is... Now we're seeing spots. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We have little like brownish spots and mm -hmm. then also kind of like a purple vein on yeah. some of the leaves. Yeah, so... So from researching... Sounds like it might be blight. Yeah. So we're gonna try to cure it with this. Okay, so the recipe that we are going to use is we have a clean um, sprayer. I got ants on me. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. So we have a clean sprayer here and it's full, uh, filled up with one gallon of water. And to that, we are going to add two heaping tablespoons of baking soda. And then we are going to add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. And then two drops of Dawn dish soap. Well, two. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was two. That was three, but. <laughs> it came out a little okay. quicker. We'll be okay. All right. Now Ronnie is going to go and spray each of the plants that was looking the worst. We don't want to spray all of them it's just because what if it like takes it out and kills yeah, them all? Yeah, we're only going to spray the sick ones. Yeah, because I don't yeah. want it. Same with the nitrogen. Mm -hmm. The ones that were healthy, I didn't want to. get it. Yeah, just because I'm, I'm trying to save the flock. I don't yeah. want to risk them all. Yeah. Like this, this, this one. This one's look. been hurt for quite a while. Yeah. You can tell it definitely didn't grow too much compared to the other ones we have. We're not gonna spray that one. This one does have leaf curl, but it doesn't have any of the spots that we're talking about. Let's find one that does. So this one right here is starting to have these spots on it. I'm told to spray up under, over, under. Around. Yeah, the ground. Also, you would only want to spray this in the evening when the sun's going down or in the mornings way before the sun's coming up or at least before the heat of the day. If you were to spray the leaves during the day and the sun touches it, then it could just burn up the leaves. That's not a good option. So we're spraying it tonight and they think the plan is to spray it again in five days. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna. I've never done anything like this. This no. is kind of interesting. No. This is like our first run into like we had to do some treatment. Yeah. You know, so we'll see. I mean, if that one starts looking better, we're on to something. Yeah, we... So it's like stem, under, over. You gotta douse it. That's where the pump sprayer comes in. Yeah. If you had just one of those, you couldn't. You know, no, no. You wouldn't be able to do it. But adding the nitrogen didn't feel like treatment. You know, I feel like we're gonna see improvement tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Like I hand misted each tomato plant. <laughs> so why wouldn't it come back? You know what I mean? Right. And I hope that they do because, you know, this plant's hurt, but we got tomatoes growing up on there. The ones that are doing good are still doing good. Yeah. It's just a few of them. Yeah. That's always how I've won. I win in, in numbers, you know what I mean? Oh, yes. <laughs> you grow, you know, 30. Yeah. 15 make it. <laughs> you grow 60, 30 make it. Yep. You always have to prepare for losses because it's going to happen. Yeah. 
Some years you might be, you know, blessed with plentiful. And some years, you know, you, you get what you get. So I'm just hesitant to spray all of them. Because okay. I don't want to do more harm than good. So the ones that are good, they get left alone. Mm. Sick ones get the treatment. Yeah. There's no drops with that. <laughs> no, there isn't. Just a little. Yeah. Can only take on one problem at a time. <laughs> Priorities. Some days it falls apart, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You're racing the sun. Yeah. It's supposed to be the longest day, too, and I'm running out of light. Right? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's bad. Uh, there's today's never the enough day, time. Yeah, today's the first day of summer, longest day of the year, and we ain't got enough light. <laughs> Fighting the blight. <laughs> oh, shoot. Running out of light, fighting the blight. These are the, one, these are the ones that led us to believe blight right here. Yes. That one, this one. These ones. This one. Look at this. Yep. This is how we got on the... Yep, the all of blight. this and then the purple veins. Mm -hmm. And nothing else in our garden has any signs of this. I know potatoes can also get blight. Not sure if it's like the same blight or if it's a different blight, but everything else is doing great, growing fine, not having any other issues. We just wanted to keep you guys updated with what's going on. We're losing light, trying to finish this out, but we'll keep you updated if anything changes. Hopefully we'll come back in five days All and we'll be good. All talking about how we defeated. <laughs> yeah, well, at least, you know, going in the right direction, it might be a little bit longer to be defeated. Yeah. Or yeah, it we'll be, be defeated, yeah. not us be defeated. We'll do one more, like, <laughs> one more treatment in five days. Yeah. If everything starts looking better. Yep. Which, I mean, I, I'm feeling good about this. Yeah. 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 I feel like we're, we're treating the sick plant yes so yeah all right well be sure to subscribe to our channel so that way you can be, get updated on how these do thanks <laughs>